Hi everyone and welcome back to Life is Strange Before the Storm. We are at Blackwell and we're about to talk to Steph and Mikey. I've got our DVD back from Steph. So let's do this. Ooh, let's, what are they playing? Mm. Steph Gingrich and Mikey North, Blackwell's premier indoor kids. Steph has created something of a business selling pirated DVDs to other students. Okay. If I had known the Celestial Avenger was bloodied, I would have totally given him my potion. It was a skill challenge. Potion wouldn't have worked. Skill challenge? It's part of the tabletop game we play. He wouldn't understand. Oh. Try me. Give me a break, nerds. I've heard of tabletop games. Cool. Got my DVD? One Blade oh. Runner, director's cut, coming right up. Sweet. Can we play? Five bucks, right? Keep it. I'm just glad someone here appreciates the classics. You even asked for the director's cut, which took out the shitty voiceover and replaced it with a sweet dream sequence. Dream life over real life. That's my motto. Sounds good. Right on. Hey, do you know if Rachel's a gamer? Uh, why would I know Rachel that? Rachel Amber? You're asking me? Didn't you two go out last night, or was it just, like, a friend thing? It was a friend thing. Well, it wasn't even that. She helps us out. What's it to you? Why do you want to know? <laughs> Steph has a crush. Oh. Chloe, you should join her game. Uh, why yeah. not? I don't have 50 hours right now. Thanks, though. We're at the end of the campaign, so it'll only take, like, 20 minutes? What else have you got to do before oh, class? Oh, cool. Yes. Sure, why not? What the I'll hell? I'll play. Game on, nerds. Here's a character sheet. You are an elf barbarian. <laughs> I'm totally an elf barbarian. Nice. I could totally see myself as an elf barbarian. I know. I'm good. All right, let's get started. You were both famous heroes in the kingdom of Avernon, a once peaceful land now laid to waste by the bloodthirsty raiders of the Black Well. Alone, you have fought your way through the raider camps, seeking their warlord leader, Durgaron, the Unscarred. As you enter the final camp, bloodied and weary, you see your fellow hero approaching from the opposite direction. I raise my staff to you in greeting. I am Elama, wizard of the Third Circle, foremost advisor to King Tiberius, and sworn defender of Avernum. And Introduce I am... Introduce your character. Y yeah, okay. Uh, I'm an elf barbarian named... Uh... Calamastia. Calamastia. Super into it. Not bad. The two heroes... Hold on. Elamon narrows his eyes at the elf in front of him and says, I am here to defeat Durgaron, the Unscar. In the name of King Tiberius, what makes you think you are worthy to fight alongside me? Ooh. I once made a man kebab. I once stabbed a guy in the chest with a sword, and it went all the way through and killed the guy behind him, too. True story. <laughs> you stand at a three-way crossing. To your left, the raider's training ground. To your right, their prison camp. Straight ahead, an enormous, ostentatious tent that could only belong to Durgaron, the Unscarred. Which way do you go? We don't Straight ahead, go right? That way. We're supposed to kill the Dur dude. Elamon frowns. The raiders could have some good loot at the training ground, and surely it is our duty to free all those prisoners. Your choice, newbie. Where do you wish to go? Ooh, I think we should go to the training ground. Or the prison camp first. Let's go to the prison camp first. Guess it's time to free some peeps. Let's go to the prison camp. You behold a field of standing iron cages each imprisoning a human villager, calling out for you to free them. Only a small, elderly dragonkin is keeping watch. He notices you, and in terror, runs into one of the few empty cages and locks himself in. Ah, poor little guy. 
What's a dragonkin? Dragonkin are like little dragon people. They're assholes. I bet he has all the keys. Oh, okay. Hey, shitface! Get out of there! The dragonkin hops up and down, shaking his ring of keys at you. He shouts in a strange language. Oh, nice. Whatever he's saying probably isn't flattering. No, Got any useful spells not. in that robe of yours? Nothing that wouldn't blow up the cage and everything in it. Okay, I think it's time to intimidate or try. Intimidate. That's a skill I have. Can I do that? I want the little bastard to shit his pants. <laughs> you can try. What do you say? Listen up, you little lizard. Unfortunately, he doesn't speak common, which means he can't I cast communication on the dragonkin. Oh. Shit. Really? Yeah. Now he can understand every word you say. Time to work some real magic. So this. this is called a skill challenge, where you try to use... Oh, I know what this is. I grab the bars of the cage and lean in, nice and close. He steps back, his scaly skin quivering in fear. What do you say? Uh, meat puppet. I wiggle my hand. Hey, dragonkin guy. Want to become my meat puppet? How it works is I shove my arm up your ass into your head <laughs> and then I can control your mouth from the inside to say things. Uh, he doesn't seem to like that idea. No, Neither I do I. <laughs> the dragon can please with you. Please don't harm me, tall one. But I cannot give you key. Durgaron, much taller and meaner than you. Really? Uh, I could make you shorter. You're short, I say. But you can always get shorter. Give me the key, or I'll chop off your legs and beat you to death with them. Good. <laughs> uh, Dragon can cowers before you, looking left and right. He opens his jaws, and you think he's about to yell for help. I interrupt his yell by shoving my axe into the cage, pinning his head to the bars without hurting him. Then I say the following. This is going to be good. Yeah, Here's it is. What's up. I'm going to carve the skin from your bones. Then I'm going to turn your skin into a little leather handbag that I'll shove your skinless body into so I can carry it around with me wherever I go. That way, the next time some asshat refuses to give me a key I want, I can pull your body out and show them what happens. How does that sound? Yeah. Uh, wow. <laughs> that was... <laughs> I'm yeah. going to give you a plus 10 bonus to charisma. Go ahead and roll. A small pool of urine collects under the elderly dragonkin as, hands trembling, it hands you the keys. Then it dies of fear. Aww. Awesome. Yeah. Go team. Why don't you start unlocking the prisoners? I'm on it. That was as cool. As you free them, the prisoners run away from you in fear. What's next? Uh. I think th this is cool. I'm loving this. All right, let's head to the training grounds. Loot sounds good. Let's go to the training ground. Sweet. See Upon if we can get some better equipment. At the training ground, you are spotted by a heavy set orc who immediately shouts and points. There are a dozen raiders on the training field, all of whom raise their weapons and charge. Okay. So what do we do? I cast yeah. Urgle's acid blast. Um. Overkill? Uh. You conjure up a wave of acid that washes over the charging orcs. Every raider suddenly starts screaming and writhing in pain. There's a sweet and sour kind of smell oh, as the flesh melts no, off their no, bones no, like no. warm candle wax. Holy shit. You see why I haven't really needed a partner? The heavy set orc sergeant still remains. He runs at you swinging a massive warhammer. All yours. Uh, knee slam? I knee him. Right in the orc balls. Success. The orc clutches his groin, never to father children again. Nice. <laughs> Your turn again, <laughs> Chloe. Now we... Fatal cleave. Oh, we could pummel strike, then fatal cleave. Uh, let's fatal cleave. Okay. Let's end this. Fatal cleave. 
You swing your great axe downward with both hands. The orc blinks, then splits open like a hot dog bun. Nice. Fuck yeah, I'm awesome at this game. It's going well. What about the loot? Well, as the training ground is now a roiling pit of acid, Aww. it's unlikely any loot survived. Dang. Mikey. Oh, we all make mistakes. Don't worry, Alamon guy. We all make mistakes. Alamon? Not. Calamastia, the elf barbarian, is most wise and forgiving. What's next? Well, there is only one thing left to do, and that's head to Durger Durgeron, the warlord's tent. Let's go and kill this guy. It's tent time. You enter the tent to find Durgeron, warlord of the raiders Ooh. of the Black Well, Minotaur? sitting comfortably at his throne. He's a huge red-eyed minotaur, swathed in a fine black oh, minotaur, coat, gripping a two-handed sword that's easily six feet long. His laughter bellows. Wah, ha, 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 ha. Nice. Your lands and people are already mine. Your deeds here mean nothing. Your kingdom was weak. You are weak. What an asshole. I got this. I cast Zael's Cataclysmic Cone of Fire. The fire fizzles out on contact. Oh. Durgeron laughs again. Holding up his right arm to show off his bracer of fire immunity. Aww. Shit. All of my battle spells are fire based. Except for, you know, Acid Blast, which someone used unnecessarily to show off for Chloe. Calamastia? We what are in you? trouble. Uh, ooh, Raffle Rush. I don't really fancy getting in too close. Brutal punch. I can't see that doing something much to something that sort of size. Annihilation strike. That could be interesting. Let's go annihilation strike. Oh, holy shit! Uh, annihilation strike. That sounds boss as fuck. One? What? That's bad, right? Hell yeah. Not for me. As you take your first step, you trip on a rock, <laughs> collapsing oh, onto the God. ground in a clangy jumble of metal. Your axe swings wildly to the side. Mikey, roll a reflex save. No. Oh, no, oh, I don't no. like this. Oh, Three. no. Your axe strikes Elamon's leg. No. Um, legs, plural, severing both feet at the ankles. <laughs> this game is awesome. This game is awesome. My feet? <laughs> <laughs> Durgeron moves toward the crippled Elmon. Oh, shit! I told you this was my best boss. You didn't tell me my character might die. Durgeron approaches, stomping his bloody hooves. Stomp, stomp, stomp. This is all my fault. Sort of. What should I do? Uh, we could encourage my dude. I can't exactly get up and do anything, can I? Jump in front of Elamon could do that. Uh, dance. That could be fun. Be distracting. Think outside the box. Yeah, go on. I, uh, I don't know. Shit. I dance to distract him. You dance to yeah. distract him. I'm doomed. Sixteen? What? What? Your crappy, arrhythmic dancing is weirdly mesmerizing to Durgeron. He pauses with his sword in midair for ten seconds, buying Elmon time to crawl away. Okay. Nice. Durgeron has now turned his attention toward you. Bring it. He charges, thrusting madly with his great sword. Shit! Oh no. Oh no. Your attempt to dodge his thrust fails. Durgeron laughs as he impales you on his blade, Ouch. lifting you high into the air. <laughs> Seriously? I can't do anything with that stupid bracer. I'm sorry, Chloe. Hey, I chopped your feet off. We're even. You feel your strength draining away as Durgeron lifts you higher into the air. We need to it cut off that bracer. Like what do you do? 
swing for his arm. I bring my axe down onto his arm. The one with the fire bracer thingy. Oh, brilliant. Hell you yeah. roll high to hit. You're almost dead. 20. Oh, 20. Yes. yes, get in there. Bring your axe down in a wicked chop, severing his arm completely. His bracer of fire immunity clangs to the ground. I cast Gignomi's Fire Strike of Flame. Oh, snap. Lying on the ground, you conjure a flaming spear, which flies from your hands to spear Durgaron in the chest, incinerating him completely from the inside out. Damn, Elamon. Durgaron is defeated, but your wounds were too great. I'm afraid Calamastia is dead. Oh. I actually feel sad right now. Better uh -huh. to have died a hero than live as a coward. That was fun. That was cool. Check out what I drew. Mikey's got serious drawing skills. <laughs> Brilliant. Glad yeah. you enjoyed it, Chloe. That was great. Yeah. I'll adventure with you anytime. <laughs> we'll see. Brings back a few memories of me being a kid. Thanks for the game, nerds. Many moons ago. That was great. Duty, check. Next stop, chemistry class. Oh, great. Enjoy. Yeah. I used to enjoy chemistry. Uh, okay, let's see if there's anything else around. Because we didn't go around the back here. And then we'll head in. Let's just check on the... Ooh. Arcadia this makes Bay. being high sound like a bad thing. Arcadia Bay fire danger rating today. Hi. Hmm. All right. And um, what do we Evan's have here? Evan's work is actually pretty good. I'd never tell him that, of course. Oh, of course not. The Danger of Forest Fires by Evan Harris. All right. I think that's us. I think we are heading into class. Go and have some fun in chemistry. What the hell? Oh, it's Nathan. What have you got here, Twitch? Don't call me that. True North. A jock so dumb he makes jocks look bad. Guess Nathan Prescott made the shit list. Oh, wow. This is some really weird crap, Prescott. It's not yours. Give it back. I hate that you're on the team now. You're such a loser. Boy, you're both losers. Guys, no need to fight. You can both be losers. The mute speaks? That's right, I do. Whoa, whoa! You earn a spot on the squad, Twitch. You don't have your dad try to buy off the coach. No, that sounds At least about my right. family pays tuition. Ooh. How much financial aid does your deadbeat dad need again? Oh, oh, wow. that's below Dick the belt. Move, Nathan. My dad lost his job at the shipyard. When your dad closed it down, and you want to talk shit to me? Leave Nathan alone. You know something, Prescott? I'm going to do you a favor. You can't be a part of the team and be into this stupid crap at the same time. Oh. You're a piece of shit. I am going stop to it. kill you. You guys, stop. Chloe, do something. Don't just stand there watching. Oh, uh, all right. I suppose I better step in, aren't I? Otherwise, Steph's gonna be really on the oh, whatever the name is, I can't remember now. The only way to stop a bully is to be aggressive. I've got to put Drew down. Back off, idiot. What the hell did you just say to me? You heard. Uh, I idiot. Idiot. You're not used to a word that big, are you? Don't be scared. Here we go. You're seriously defending Nathan Prescott? Uh, well, he's an easy target. How about picking on someone your own size? Which I hear is pretty small. Ooh. <laughs> You're such a crazy freak. Mind your own business. Uh... You know what's crazy? What's crazy is that you haven't been held back yet. How is that possible? You want a piece of this? Yeah. Uh, piece of cake. Please. 
Kicking your ass is going to be a piece of cake. Oh, again. <laughs> did you just laugh? <laughs> yeah. I did. Chloe just owned you. Shut the fuck up, fresh meat. You shut the fuck up. Oh, nice one. Go Samantha. Samantha, that's it. Guess you got lucky this time, Prescott. Had two girls show up to save you. Take your pervy picture book. Are you okay? You think I need help? From you? Whoa. You're Are you alright? Thanks for sticking up for him. People think just because of his family. Well, I mean, we know what Nathan did. Everything okay here? <laughs> yeah. No problem, Skip. Yeah, I mean, we know what happened with Nathan. Um, hmm. But, i got to stand up for him. Got to be done. Ooh. Message from Mum. Uh, glad we talked. Me too. I know you're doing your best. <laughs> I don't know about that. Love you. All right. Okie doke. Let's head in to class, I think. Anti-drug poster. Another one. That they are everywhere. A sweet tattoo. Yeah, it's not bad. Marijuana cigarettes kill. Just like every other type of cigarette. All right. Maybe if I delay going inside long enough, Blackwell will be overrun by future excellence. And by future excellence, I mean mole people. <laughs> All right, let's head in. Oh. Oh, good. You're here. Okay, Rachel has kidnapped us. I was going to go to class. Be a good Chloe for change. I do beseech you, chiefly that I might set it in my prayers. What is your name? Miranda. Oh, my father, I have broke your hest to say so. Good. Admired Miranda. Indeed worth what's dearest in the world. Many a lady I have eyed with best regard, and many a time have listened to... Many a time, the harmony of their tongues... Hath I listened to... Hayden, you're killing me. You've had weeks to be off book. Sorry, Mr. Keaton. No, don't apologize to me. Apologize to your scene partner, who's been very accommodating, and to your other fellow actors, and most of all, to yourself. Mr. Keaton! Sorry to interrupt, but does this look better? I had my mom take it in a bit. Rachel looks awesome. Yep. This is getting as surreal as last night. Looking good, Rach. Very cool. Exquisite, Rachel, as always. Mr. Keaton, I'm still having trouble with... My affections are then most humble. I have no ambition to see a goodlier man. I mean, does she really mean that? Especially because I just straight out told her I've been banging all the ladies. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, that is hard. We've talked about that line forever. We need a fresh perspective. What? Me? The question is, are Miranda's feelings of instant passion for Ferdinand just inexperience in dramatic circumstances, or has she actually just met the love of her life? What do you think? Uh, oh God. Uh, Miranda's an idiot. No, we'll we'll go the romantic route for a change. Sometimes, when you meet someone who's going to change your life, you just know it. I guess. Also, you've got parents coming to see the show, right? At twenty bucks a ticket, it's got to be true love. Wow, a romantic and a cynic. That actually kind of helps me. Thanks. Oh, God, at least they're coming handy for something. Thanks, Mr. Keaton. Later. See you later, guys. Oh, no. I have first period improv with a class full of freshmen now. Oh, that'll be fun. <laughs> that will be fun for him. Your eye looks fabulous. Where'd you get it done? Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. That asshole really clocked you. It wasn't a big deal. I'll just be a minute. 
Okay, so why am I here again? Yeah, why? Uh, could you grab my belt for me? I think it's in my bag over there. Okay. Uh, sure. Yeah, sure. I can do that, and I can look for places to do some graffiti at the same okay. time. Okay, uh, get the belt. Don't say any stupid shit, and don't, like, <laughs> fall down. Should be doable, right? Well, I don't know about that. Sweet collar, Pepe. Yeah, that's one hell of a rough. Uh, Should be life is drama. Yeah, well, life is a drama. I guess the Prescott donation doesn't cover this. Yeah, new pencils have to be paid for by ourselves. I mean, let's look at these props. If nice I'd known sword. acting meant getting to play with weapons, I totally would have auditioned for uh, the Tempest. <laughs> Come on, Chloe, you couldn't even remember what it was called there for a minute. All right, let's see. What else do we have in here that could be fun? Let's head over this side of the room first, I think. And then we'll come back to that corner. As soon as our bag's over that way. Flat. All right, let's, what's this? RA will suck as Prospera. If VC had any talent, maybe she would have gotten the part. <laughs> talent? Is that what got Mr. K to cast you, slut? Oh. Guess they don't call it Drama Lab for nothing. Oh, we can put a comment on. Yeah, let's do that. What to say? What to say? Uh. Bitter much, yeah. Not got slut shaming, no. Bitter much. <laughs> Playing the part of the bitter, passed over, talentless hack, VC. Ooh. Suck a D, VC. <laughs> nice. All right, what do we have on the table? We have a pencil holder. Hey now, sharing is caring. Pencil to stage manager only, aka Steph. All right, Steph. Ooh, computer. Ooh, hoo -hoo. let's take a to look. To internet or not to internet? Oh, to internet, of course. I have feelings about this. Oh, we've Most actually... of them are not good feelings. Yeah, we've actually gone through that Why already. Why theater kids take themselves so seriously? The Tempest, Rachel Amber playing Prospera, and newcomer to Blackwell Academy, Rachel Amber blew the doors off her audition with the heartbreaking reading of Blanche from Tennessee Williams' A Streetcar Named Desire. Other interests include athletics, debate team, booster, boosters fundraising, local history and nature. Rachel hopes to one day grace the stages of Broadway and the silver screen of Hollywood. Nathan Prescott playing Caliban, a favourite son of the eldest and most influential family in Arcadia Bay. Nathan hopes this performance of The Tempest will only further the legacy of the Prescott name at Blackwell Academy. Playing Caliban has been a challenge for the sophomore who enjoys sports, photography and casual hangouts with his many friends. And we have Dana Ward playing Miranda. A sophomore, Dana has performed in two other productions at Blackwell Academy since her freshman year. Dana enjoys football, go big foots, social media and school dances. She hopes to be a member of the Vortex Club when she's a senior. Hayden Jones playing Ferdinand. This show marks the introduction of Hayden Jones to Blackwell Academy's drama club. He, aud he auditioned on a dare and it turns out actually really digs acting. A sophomore, his in other interests include playing sports, herbals <laughs> and taking long walks in the woods. Then we have Juliet Watson playing Ariel. Juliet's primary interests include journalism and social activism, but she's very excited to be debuting this spring in the role of Ariel. The capricious and powerful spirit Prospera has enchanted and bound to do her magical bidding. And Travis Keaton directing. A veteran of Broadway, Travis Wilbury Keaton serves the prestigious Blackwell Academy as a teacher of the dramatic arts, mentor and friend. He hopes this humble reinterpretation of Shakespeare's masterpiece can inspire the next generation of the country's leaders to strive for greatness and never to forget his motto, Ars Gratia Artis. The Tempest. Stage manager, Steph Gingrich. 
Tech Crew, Adam Glenn, Gina Yo, Stella Hill, Jason Redford, Sound Design, Brooke Scott, Program Cover, Poster, Evan Harris. Special thanks to Principal Wells, Rose Amber, Caroline Prescott, Helen Christensen, Bernadette Hoyder, Samuel Taylor, and especially the Prescott Foundation. Okay. What else do we have here? Ooh, we have a poster to look at. This poster definitely says something. Yeah, Quell. Okay, so the bag. Yeah, we need to That's get the belt. The nicest backpack I've seen in my life. Okay, let's take this. To, oh, get a belt anyway. Rachel looks so happy here. Ah, that must be her dad. Stop rummaging through personal stuff and just get her belt. You know? There's Rachel's belt. There we belt. go. Right, I yeah, think so that... I'll go give this to Rachel now. I think we have everything here, so... Let's just check there's nothing else around this side that we could possibly... ...do. No. Okay. Alright, let's just take a look. So that wasn't anything, it was just a comment. Alright. So this is drama nerds thing. Uh Okay, so where is that? Unless it's uh in the back, yeah. Hmm. I'll take it we're not going out there then, Chloe. Alright. Let's see if it's in the back then. Alright, so we've got a load more posters and things to take a look at here. Oh, I saw some yes, here we go. Let's talk more belt. Uh yeah, in the Rachel minute, Rachel. Amber, drama star and guardian angel. I still can't believe that was her last night. Alright, so let's see what graffiti we can do on this. <laughs> Haunts for Nathan or Halo for Rachel. Ooh, let's give Rachel a Halo, shall we? Save my life. Get some ink. A dramatis persona. Okay, let's take a look now. Definitely an improvement. Yeah. Cool. Ooh, we got a note here. I am nosy. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta turn up the heat. <laughs> Where are all the pencils? I know it was you, Hayden. Another one here. Come on, look at it then. Oh, I can't see the controls because of. The... I'm gonna guess it's from Logan. Dana, you are very beautiful. Do you want to go out? I would be into that. <laughs> Logan, guess who? Logan, guess who? Okay. Uh, so this is not at the bottom, is say. Oh no, it's just luck, okay. Uh, let's see what else we have. Anything? Costume rack. Must be a hundred costumes in here. <laughs> Am I the only student who's not in this show? No, I doubt that very much, Chloe. Alright. So let's go and give uh, Rachel the belt. Rachel? Is this your belt? Yes! <laughs> Thank you. Uh, let's bring it to her. Yeah, that was a cool costume. I really liked your costume. Thanks. So, did you bring flowers for my dressing room? Nope. I just brought you this belt. Uh, how about a belt instead? Perfect. 
I'll let you finish changing now. Yeah, she was a little bit uncomfortable there. Chloe Price. Rachel Amber. Last night was amazing. Yeah, Firewalk were pretty good. I, I, I'd never seen Firewalk live. Pretty fierce show. We'll have to do it again. To tell the truth, I went to bed last night wishing it never had to end. But then I thought, why? Why does it have to end? Yeah, why does anything have to end? Maybe it doesn't. Maybe it doesn't have to end. Exactly. How would you like to join me on a little field trip? Ooh. Hell yeah. Fuck yes. I was born to ditch. <laughs> I hoped you'd say that. Now about that eye, that is a hell of a battle scar. Do you want me to cover it up with some makeup? E why not? Sure. Yes, please. People won't shut up about it. That's cool. Hold still. Misting a little. <laughs> This is a lot of makeup. That's the price of valor. Close your eyes. Oh. Much better. Ah, oh, much better, yeah. Holy shit. Let's get the hell out of here. Let's. Oh, here we go with the trains again. <laughs> you sure you don't want to just grab the bus or... Nope. If we're going to go rogue, we're doing it right. Well? What the hell am I getting into here? Let's get on the train. Yep. Chair Price, the view's amazing. Rachel wants me to pull up a chair. Maybe one of these crates. All right, I think what we'll do is we'll take a quick break here. And then in the next episode, we will pull up a crate and talk to Rachel. So until then, thank you very much for watching and goodbye.